Hi everyone, Peter from Booster Busters here, bringing you another Flesh and Blood opening. Uh, today we're going to look at a one of the first hero decks we have, uh, Bravo Showstopper. Uh, this is the Guardian hero deck. Um, step right up, step right up. Here's the strongest man in Wraith. Set the scene and build up the anticipation for the cranial, cranial crushing spine-shattering, show-stopping finale. Very cool. 60-card Guardian deck showcase, showcasing the crush mechanic. Ready to play out of the box. All right, let's see what we get. Uh, very excited about this game. Um, let's see, pull tab. There is a pull tab. Let's find the little thingy. Ah, oh, I actually... Got it this time without having to struggle. That's very nice. All right, let's place the deck down here first. Uh, let's take a little quick look through the hero's handbook. I miss these from Magic. Uh, okay, so quick start, guide, hand size. Um, you've got a handy little cheat sheet on what the playing field looks like. And then uh, game setup, card types, etc. Very nice. Uh, definitely going to give this a read through. So there's advanced rules, uh, basic rules to start out with. This is a blank page, just so you know. And very nice. I'm a big fan of glossaries, especially in new card games. Um, so this is very, very good to see. Um, saves time looking online for everything. Uh, it's nice to have this handy here. Very cool, very cool. Okay, and an appendix. Oh, very nice. Uh, everything explained. Pretty cool. All right, we'll definitely be making follow-up videos here on the play basics and, um, you know, just how everything is organized here in the game from field setup to, to actual turns and, and draw steps. But um, let's take a look at what we've got here. All right, so Bravo Showstopper. Here's our hero, Guardian Hero. Um, very cool. And we've got uh, the young hero as well. Um, so there's two um, two ways the game can be played. So for the, I guess, longer full version of the game, uh, you play with the 40 health uh, level hero. Uh, and then for a quicker version, um, you could play with the young hero uh, that has 20 health. Very cool. Uh, so this game gets a lot of comparison, you know, the, the thing I keep hearing, and I'll repeat myself, um, is it, it's a very dark game, it's getting compared to kind of a Diablo, Path of Exile type of theme and feelings, um, you know, it's a hero-centric game, uh, equipment, um, which definitely, definitely is pretty cool. Um, I like the equipment piece, I like, you know having the, the hero-centric focus of the game. Um, so that's definitely definitely something I find interesting. Uh, so we're gonna start off first off uh, here with a few of the equipments uh, in the deck. Very cool. That's a pretty cool gauntlet. All right, that's equipment. Uh, we've got some guardian specific actions, so some attacks. Uh, cartilage crush. He must have said something offensive and then she's basically putting him in his place. Very cool. Debilitates, again, some more, more of the attack cards. Disable, more actions, very nice. Okay, now some 
Sporas, so they get kind of spellish enchantments. Uh, they stay in the arena until they are destroyed. Very cool. More action cards. And some more auras. Some defense cards. So again, there's you know lots of mechanics here. You can choose to defend, attack. Um, makes for an interesting, interesting play. Buckling blow. Cartilage crush. Now again, I've said this in some of my other videos, but just to point it out here for those if this is the first one you are watching. Uh, up here in the right hand corner is what's called the pitch cost. Uh, you basically can discard the card uh, to gain additional resources. Let me find a buckling blow. Okay, so you see we're, we're not getting the same repeats. Uh, there's differences to these cards. So we've got the pitch cost here. This one has a one pitch cost. This has a three. There's also subtle differences in what they actually do. Uh, but not in this case. Oh, sorry, yes, there is. Uh, in terms of the attack. So the one pitch cost has eight. Uh, this one has six. Uh, there can be differences here as well in, in certain values on the card here, depending on the pitch cost. So just wanted to point it out. Um, it's not a lot of repeats. Uh, actually, every card here matters. Um, and... You know, there's, there's differences uh, to be taken into consideration. Cartilage Crush, three pitch cost version. Crush Conf, I love this art. Let me just zoom in there for you guys. Very cool. Crush Confidence, Disable, Staunch Response. Well, that's, yep, we're getting into the rares now, nice. Blessing of Deliverance. Stonewall Confidence. Some generic action cards now, so not specific to the Guardian. Raging Bronhide. Raging Onslaught. Throne of Brutality, it's a rare. Wounded Bull, Pummel, Potion of Strength, rare. Uh, just in case this is your first video for Flesh and Blood, uh, right at the bottom, we've got uh, next to the set symbol, we've got uh, the rare. So the card quality, so this one R stands for rare. Another potion of strength. Slogism, slogism, and slogism. Okay, very cool. Um, very cool card, Guardian deck. Um, again, let's have a quick look at what the Guardian does. So it's action. Till the end of turn, your attack action cards with cost three, so pitch cost three, or greater gain dominate. Go again. The defending hero can't defend the attack and more, with more than one card from their hand. Sounds very interesting, very cool. Um, let's take a look at some of the equipments we got here, just to, as that's a big focus of the game. Generic equipments, and then two Guardian specific equipments. Uh, so we'll look at these closely, specific to the Guardian. Anothos, so a big two-handed hammer, um, and a Helm of Ison's Peak. Very cool. All right, um, we'll be checking out more of the starter decks uh, in further videos, just to give you guys an idea of what's in the deck, uh, what kind of cards there are you can you know, take a look at the cards, read the cards, some of the uh, game mechanics, help you make your choice, you know, who, who you'd like to play as. 
Um, for me, I'm definitely a big fan of, of The Guardian uh, right now at the moment. Uh, I'll have to take a closer look at some of the other ones um, to see. I know the uh, Ninja deck is quite popular as well um, with lots of, lots of combos. Uh, the Brute uh, is also pretty interesting. Reinar, um, so kind of brute warrior, very, very brutal, very bloody, um, interesting as well. Thanks for tuning in. Um, let me know what you guys think of the game, um, uh, of the cards. Uh, let me know if there's anything specifically that you're interested in as this is quite a new game. Uh, happy to make some follow-up videos and help spread awareness in the community. Uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next videos, and thank you all for tuning in.